Hello there, and we're back in Police Simulator Patrol Officers for the version 10 update, also known as the Garage Update. We have quite looking the news. Is it gonna load? Is it gonna load? Has this been fixed in version 10? Did you do the Garage Update? Now available, so new feature, Police Garage. Fellow officers, today we're happy to finally release the Garage Update. Or, depending on where you're from, the Garage Update. Now available to all players at Police Simulator Patrol Officers. If you missed our last announcement, folks, here's a recap of what to expect in the update. The Garage. With a big garage sign, Police Garage expands all precincts of the Bright PD and serves the main hub for each car patrol ship. Cool. Are they not just going to be out in the lot now? Parking lot management. Manage the precinct's parking lot. Four parking spots are available at each precinct, and you can adjust every single one of them. You have a favourite patrol car and want it to be the default patrol car for the PD? That's the Police Department. Just fill up all the spots with the same model. You prefer to have some variety? Select the ones. The choice is yours. Tool management. All oh, right, so you can put different things. Each patrol car has a specific capacity of carrying tools, and the amount varies from model to model. So you don't just get everything in there now. Handcuffs are a must. Are they not just standard? All right now, you can freely decide which ones you want to bring along. Fill up your trunk however you want, and assign the tools of your choice to their respective slots. You can even select the same tool in all slots. Cool. Repair your patrol cars. This is a biggie, cause. If you've watched our previous videos, you will see we trash our cars a lot. Or, as we prefer to say, put them through the paces. You had an accident in the past your patrol car was either slightly or even completely wrecked in the aftermath. That sucks. But now you can repair them in the middle of your shift and you don't have to wait for the next one. Well, we never used to do that. You just drop it off at the uh, parking lot and just snatch another. Leave it for Sarge to deal with. You can either repair them quickly with the press of a button when standing in front of the garage or do it inside. Cool. Car balancing, we've completely overhauled all the patrol cars and improved controls across the board. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Please let us know what you think, don't you worry, we will. Ooh, look at that little uh, smart car police car. Introducing the CPV, or the Compact Police Vehicle. Also releasing today, is this a, is this a, is this a DLC? Do I have to pay for this? After releasing, also releasing today is the Compact Police Vehicle, CPV, an incredibly cool patrol car and a separate, fully optional DLC. All right, okay. By purchasing it, you... Oh, well, yeah, right, so I've got to purchase it. Boo. You can get it from your first shift, even on foot patrols. It costs two euros, 99, two dollars, 99. Or maybe two pounds, 99, who knows? Right, get back on patrol. So we've added the garage, option for bay cars, customize, parking lot, and trunk, compact police vehicle, overhaul the physics. Well, they were promising to bring in a new physics engine, doesn't have they done that yet? Well, we'll find out. Crash fix. Fix the crash that occurred when walking around in the holding cells with the resty. Oh, they don't mean a car crash, they mean a crash crash. Got you. Crash that occurred after loading the save game. Crash that occurred after stopping an MPV at the traffic stop. But have they sorted that loading into the last shift? Now, uh, bug fixes. Fix getting unjustified CP loss for searching fled MPC cars. Corrected the same reason for suspicious driving behaviour. Multiplayer. Yeah, okay, fixed connection loss issue. Issues related to license plates and mirrors. Two MPVs causing them to despawn. Don't think we have a game against that one. Unjusted MPVs to switch lane before a traffic stop to ensure no traffic jams happen in front of them. Okay. Adjusted some MPV models as weird graphical issues happened when they were far away. Weird graphical issues? I never noticed them far away. Maybe I need new specs. Game world, widen the prison doors so it's no longer possible to get stuck in them anymore. Thanks, it's Capsule PL. No. Oh. Are you trying to say everyone in uh, Bryden here in Police Simulator is fat? Slightly moved the parking slot at Callahan. That has got to be the biggest change. Slightly moved the parking spot at Callahan. Fix an old locking black box in the Chester precinct to fix the bug causing world borders to behave weirdly. There's a lot of weird things fixed. Uh, controls fixing the shoe cards and left sticks not have an effect anymore after change the key binding and reverting key binding. Uh, remove car mirror resolution settings entry. Fixed an issue that caused the give back ID option to stay on screen with no purpose. Didn't notice that one. Uh, fixed an issue that caused the insurance ID to get stuck on the screen. Did actually notice that one, but not for a while. Right, well, that's it for the garage updates. We are promised. Parking lot and trunk management and better car control. So there's only one way to find out if this is true, and that's to dive straight into a ship, my friend. Right, let's continue. 
Right, so we will see you on the beat in the next video. Now, I've given you an update of what the garage update contains. Your shift is over, officer. Shift is over from the last time, so don't forget to like and subscribe for more police simulator videos, including our first shift with the garage update. And we shall see you again shortly. Bye!